What well, was David Reagan in that six car? He's no slouch either. He's been right there most of the afternoon, hanging behind the 88. And I think the 88 is going to get up here to Junior's bumper. Clint Boyer has gotten out front. Now, how do you work this, Dale? You're Clint Boyer, and you got two lines behind you. How do you work those two <laughs> lines when you're when you're up front like that? It becomes work right now because you want to go, and your spotter's helping somewhat, but you have to look in the mirror, and you have to anticipate who's going to be the next one to get there that you're going to have to really... It's not as much about blocking. Out, caution's out. See the 42 car in the wall here. That is Kenny Hendrick. They got another car spinning over there just a little bit. Looks like it's Eric McClure. There is a 24 car. You just called Andy. He's also down on the inside of the racetrack. He's had some contact. I'm sure all these guys will stay. The leaders will stay out here because they just pitted. See a lot of debris, though. That's the one thing you got to be careful of when you come through this section of the racetrack is not getting a flat tire. Let me show you what happened here. Bringing out caution number four on the day. That's a tire. a tire. Definitely, definitely cut a tire or something there. There weren't enough laps on those tires, so they probably had to run over something, or maybe you got to get someone else uh, before that. Yeah, heavy damage on that I'd car. I'd say it's killed. I mean, it hit hard. It went straight to the fence. Knockout punch on the car owned by Evander Holyfield. Heavy contact there. They will head back to the garage area, hoping to run the full.